Welcome to Sew Like a Pro Time. I'm Teresa Sigmund, and you are in the right place to learn to choose, alter, and make the dance and skate dress of your dreams. This is a really momentous occasion for several reasons. One, because I have with me the lovely Patsy. She is, I'm so excited, <laughs> she is one of the first 10 women to enroll in the Sew Like a Pro School. So this is really cool because it's her first time in front of her camera, and bless her heart, she's so shy. <sighs> And so we've had a great time. We've been here for a couple hours now and we've been looking at her pattern and making adjustments and looking at the dresses that she made both before and after enrolling in the school. Patsy made this one start to finish and she is going to be wearing it at this dance competition in just two days time. Now we are at the Portland Dance Festival inside the Sheridan Hotel at the Portland Airport. This is its 31st annual country and swing competition. So I hope you come on out to watch it. It's going on all weekend long. And even if you aren't a competitor, come out anyway because country co competitions are really fun. <laughs> they, are way, they are way more fun than ballroom <laughs> events. And there's also a ton of social dancing. You can literally dance until you drop. And there are workshops going on all weekend as well. So please do come on out. Patsy is dancing on Saturday. So what I want to walk you through is with this dress is what works, what doesn't work, what I love about it, and what's super clever uh, and some little secrets about this dress. Now this is the first dress that Patsy made start to finish since you've been in the school, is that That's correct? Right. Okay, now she had made several other before um, using various patterns, sort of winging it and figuring it out as you go. So we've had a really great time talking about um, things that she's learned along the way, um, such as differences in sleeve patterns and how you sew in, you know, how do you make sure your, your, all your private bits are covered in your dress and things like that. So. I really, I personally like Patsy's design taste. It, it very much suits my design taste in that it's um, dynamic without being fussy. And so I'm going to walk you through all of this and just, just like I always do with these blogs, give you ideas for things that you might want to use for your dress. Now, as always, please don't ever duplicate anyone else's dress. It's not fair to them and it's certainly not fair to you. But with that in mind, um, do you mind if I tell your weaknesses? No, now that I've asked you that on live camera. <laughs> I okay. know them already, you might as well share. <laughs> there's there's no modesty. in school. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's no modesty. Yeah. All right, so Pat, Patsy has a really nice, let me turn, have you turn sideways. She has a really nice breast curve. It's beautiful shape. She has, she likes to carry her weight, well she might not like it, but she carries her weight in her tummy, whereas a lot of women carry it in her hips and thighs. Okay, keep rotating. She's got a beautiful back. Love this. We're going to come back to this. Keep rotating, please. So I just wanted you to see Patsy's overall physique. Now what she has done, she's also fairly straight up and down this way you know, as far as, so she does not have a big curve between her waist and her hips. So as she's designing things, she tries to, uh, one, draw, the key, two th keys are to either make another body part look larger, but better than that is to draw the eye away from the part that you do not want people to look at. And Patsy has very cleverly done this here with two features. One, the asymmetrical neckline, and two, she's added gathers below the tummy to, ver you know, to narrow hips. So because there is such this um, contrast with this asymmetrical neckline, and I love the way you made the gauntlet sort of continue this line here, which is fantastic. Okay, now when she's out in dance position, it covers enough of her arm that her arm still looks nice and sleek, but yet she doesn't look completely covered and she has a nice contrast between the two sides. Fabulously done, I have to say. So the asymmetrical neckline, especially with the tan skin, it does a great job contrasting so you don't look at her tummy pretty much at all. You either look at the contrast between the neckline and the skin or you go to the gathers in the skirt. The other thing that draws the eye up and away from her tummy is this vertical line, which was just recently added. 
One, because she needed support, because you know we women want our girls to be nice and high. So she wanted the support here, but even better than actual just support is that it does. It draws the, the eye completely up, making her look taller, drawing the eye away from the tummy. Let's keep talking about the top and just turn if you would, please. Now, Patsy has really gorgeous skin. Keep going, there you go. And I love, love, love this back. It, she's got the four straps that, once again, draw the eye from down at the rib cage up to the shoulder area. So drawing her eye, or drawing our eye, the viewer's eye, away from a straight waist. And this is because these go narrow down here and then um, I'm sorry, wider at the bottom and more narrow at the top, it actually does a really great job of creating a lot of dynamic movement without being fussy. Okay, keep going. Okay, you did a really fabulous job with this. I'm so pleased. All right, so we have a three layer skirt. Actually, do you have four layers? No, you got three layers. Okay, great. This is fun because it brings in a pop of color because she's got black down here. Now, one of the things that Patsy did here, which is super clever, is that there are actually, how many skirts that go with this? I think I have five. So ideas. she thinks she has five skirts <laughs> that goes with it. But you're gonna wear how many this weekend? Just three. Just three, so waltz, two-step, Cha. Cha-cha, okay. Do you wear the same, and then, and then you have swing pants? Yes. Okay, pants. so, and then one pair of trousers to go with this to wear for swing dancing. So what I'm gonna do here is just sort of share her cleverness, and we are gonna take a quick break, and she is going to go change skirts. <laughs> Patsy has a clearly different look. Now, this is her surprise with the five skirts. So this is her cha-cha skirt. So she went from sleek and elegant in a ball gown to seriously hot mama here. I mean, it's a completely different look. This has several really fabulous aspects going for it. One, she has still all one continuous color, so she looks tall and thin. And because her figure is very columnar, it's very straight, the fact that this goes very long to very long is also very tall and straight actually works really well because it just keeps the eye going up and down instead of going to the middle, which she would rather diminish. Go ahead and if you would slowly rotate, a little bit slower than that, hang on. Okay, now this is for cha-cha. So cha-cha in country is just like cha-cha in ballroom or even in skate in that it's a real sexy dance, a lot of emotions, a lot of you know hip movement and things like that. So she's got this great cut here and shows off her really long legs. Flesh colored dance boots are a must just because it keeps the long leg going. This is a great cut. Okay, keep going. All right, stop there please. Now these two lines, this is actually a really fun look here because they are in a way going opposing directions and that everything gets small here and then goes big like that. Love that. It's kind of like an explosion of a design. So this is a really great feature. The gathers on the hip, which in the ball gown looked kind of elegant. Here they take on a sassy look just because the skirt changed so much. All right, go ahead and keep going. Nicely done. Patsy's last skirt is fringe. Now she actually has two of these. She has one green one and one black. And she was like, well, which one do you want me to wear? I was like, it doesn't matter. They both look pretty awesome. So she did a very, I'm not gonna give away her secret of how she attached these skirts, because it's very clever, I have to say. But so she really has very different looks here. And one of the things that Patsy and I and, and all the other sewing school members were discussing on our Facebook group is what type of, since she can't do rhinestones, but she can do lace and, and other things. So, gosh, we had looked at, you had posted pictures on our private Facebook group about maybe doing lace or what other, I don't even remember now, it's yeah, been a while. ribbons that crisscross down the oh, front. Oh yes, they were all vertical yeah. and long. Yeah. yeah, and so ultimately, I think pretty much most of the members who looked at it were like, no, we just like it really simple. Yeah. Yes, because there's enough interest going on with all the straps and the gathers that it didn't necessarily need more. And with um, so many skirts, the more simple the bodice is, the more skirt options she has. So anyway, just do one more rotation in this, if you would, please. 
This, this really turned out fantastic. I love it. Love, love, love. You did a great job. Pa oh, Patsy has been dancing for two years and she is going to be dancing in just two days. So she said she's real happy to be here talking about dresses and patterns and stuff because it keeps her from getting nervous. <laughs> You're right. So anyway, that is it for us. We are going to sign off. Hope you will come out to the Portland Dance Festival this weekend. And if you do not make it this year, it goes on every single July. So come and watch, come and compete, come and dance, sign up for a workshop, or just come to have a good time. Patsy Dance is Saturday. That is it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment below saying what you enjoy about her dresses and do you like these live videos and um, also if you have not already done so please go to sewlikeapro.com leave me your name and email address and I'll make sure you never miss one of these dancing skating sewing blogs. That is it for us. Thank you so much Patsy for joining me today. I am super I get so excited when I get to meet the members. <laughs> We've got to get busy decorating now. We have to change clothes and get to work. All right, talk to you later. Thank you so much.